guys, it's been a while since I've done anything here. Figured I should go back and visit Jimmy's house again. And what is going on? That is a lot of zombies. I'm... Whoa. Did they... they look different. Zombies definitely got a remodel. Um... Or at least zombie villagers here. Oh my god. Go forging around that little tiny house. Poor little tiny house. Is there a villager in there? Oh my god, there's probably a villager in there. I hope it's not Jimmy. This is Jimmy's new house. I hope he. Oh my god, I. I hope he's like that. Oh my. That. The doors, I've noticed, are very laggy. And, um. So I got. I'm hoping I just muted it for you guys, too. Um. Here, I'm gonna try and mute it. Why I do that? Sorry, trying to safe break, I guess. D. Nice bear. Oh, Jimmy! It's been turned into a zombie. What do I do? Oh no, I have no idea. Got it. With this sort of fight off those zombies and get into that little house. Maybe it will help me figure out what to do. Oh, whoa. Did you? Oh, threw my sword. Um, let me grab my sword. Oh, no, the zombies are going to steal my sword. Didn't they? Yep, one of them stole my sword. I need a new sword. Sorry, guys, for breaking video, but need to go into creative and grab a sword. But I'm already in creative, so. Mow them down. All right. Let's close the door. We don't want any more zombies getting in on the gym here while we're gone. There's a baby villager in there, actually. I didn't put that in, guys. I'm not lying. When I made this, I, the video, I didn't put him in. When I set up. I have no idea how we got in there. Okay. And, um, so your doors are lagging, but I just let all the zombies in. And, I'd like to open this chest. How to sculpt this? Oh, oh, it's by me. I still remember writing it, I guess. Ooh, this might be very helpful. Lots of zombies everywhere. How to save your friend in the event of him being transformed into a zombie? Hey, this is exactly what I need. Go to the top of the obvious base mounting thing. Thing. It has a potion with a magic with the magic ability to cure him. Use it wisely, but get back fast. Sunlight will kill him if you take too long. All right. Oh my. Um, uh, it's the hardest obstacle so far. <gasps> Do you think that is the obvious mountain base thingy? Probably. Looks pretty obvious and mountainy and base like. All uh, that good stuff. Well, I can, uh. So, guys, clearly boats got a remodeling. And not only are, do you have oars now. But any mob can be put into a boat. Some mobs will die in water, though. And I guess some mobs can get out, because I put a lot more in. And boats kind of work differently. You press A to turn. Like, you press the left key to turn right, and the right key to turn left. And to go forwards and see how pressing W now, you press both the left and right keys. And you can't really go backwards without turning. Which is weird. But a very strange glitch I've noticed. If you put a shulker in, uh sorry. That's not how you put a shulker in. Let's go like this and that should Why are none of them going in? I did this earlier and it wasn't hard. Huh. Usually he spins around weirdly like that. And makes the paddles go too. But I guess it's just not happening right now for some reason. I don't know. I noticed that like really recently. It's kind of weird. And now I feel like I made a fool of myself. But whatever. I do that all the time on YouTube. That's probably why YouTube was made. Just so I can make a fool of myself. Maybe it's just of a certain type of boat. Who knows? 
Anyways, I need to get up the obvious mountain basing, and I want to stop flying, please. I don't want this whole thing to look super fake. Alright, let's go. It's a pretty big obvious mountain base thing. Yikes! Oh, yeah, okay, it's just a shulker. New mobs, new mobs, new mobs. Speaking of new mobs, by the way, I figured before we progress, I might as well show you that the skeleton was remodeled. Not only was he remodeled, he will now draw back his bow. Well, look at that, his hands now rest at his sides more and all that. <gasps> it's getting close to daylight. Yeah, hurry up. I don't want you to be a burning in the sunlight. Which I'm not 100% sure of zombie villagers even burn in sunlight. But I think they do, and I don't want to risk it. Alright, alright. Here we go. Here we go. Hmm. Oh, what is that? Huh. I don't know. We need to find a potion to save Jim. Oh, it's probably in this chest. Okay. I'm Elytra. Elytra? I don't know. I know what that is, though, actually. It's a thing used on, um, it's a thing that bugs have. It's like a beagle's wing. They have that wing on top that's like fake. It's like a shell almost, and then underneath is the real wing. It's a shell on top. So, put that in my inventory. Let's see what happens. So, hmm. You put it on here. Not here. That's a shield spot. Oh, you can, well, I guess you can play anything in your offhand. So anyways, guys, potions of weakness are where you use to cure zombie villagers, in case you weren't aware. And, what the, guys, that was supposed to work. F5. Man, I'm gonna try again! Here we go, back to the top. It doesn't take long, I always flag here. And so, here, let's make it intense. For the last few seconds of the episode. Five, F5, F5, F5. F5. Alright. Let's go intense mode. Oh. Alright, that didn't work at all. Let's just run for it. So anyways, guys, this is supposed to make you able to fly. Um. But I guess the shulkers are doing that for me. Slash, game mode. Creative. I just fly to the top and I'll demonstrate for you from here. I just fly really high. Why? I am not able to break flight. There we go. I believe I can fly. He kind of kicks when you get too high. And when you do sharp turns, which just means that you're going to go down faster. You can lift up a bit. Loses durability pretty fast. You get about seven minutes of flight time total in between flights. It only works when you're bending your mouse, which I guess is why I wasn't doing. But it looks like that. It unfolds. And if you have a cape on, it will change textures to your cape. So that's really cool. But anyways, I need to use it to fly straight to Jimmy's house there. And why it's not working, I'll never know. Okay. Before it's scale light. That's important. I think. Okay. Jimmy's house. Go! We're just about there. Good, good, good. It's not quite daylight. Not quite light enough, at least. So anyways, this is a lingering potion. But what I've found is so you gotta go like that and that's weakness and it will just last here a while but what i found is those don't really work or at least not as you expect they don't work on zombies so hey jimmy i'm gonna help you here jimmy are you okay bud come back to me come back shaking i think he's getting cured I hope he's okay. I have weakness on me too. 
but Jimmy's starting to shake, has red particles, that means he's getting cured. So in case you guys don't know, cure um a villager and like a zombie villager. Just put the weakness effect on him and after a minute or so he should turn back to normal. By the way, sorry about that cut. There's a cut there. Oh, I died. What? But at least my spawn point's near here, so that's good. That's what you did. Um, I don't know what's going on right now. Sorry guys, I died and I cut and I hope you guys didn't hear anything sure got cut. You might have hogged it out. Um why is he getting attacked by shulkers and where's Jimmy's house? Levitation effect, you're bothering me. That is one of the most annoying effects ever. It's cool and it's kinda useful. Hey, it's annoying. Oh, there's all my stuff. Jimmy! Are you ever gonna go back to normal? Like at all? Seriously, bud. Counting on you. I'll just cut and tell Jimmy's back to normal. So, guys, everything's back to normal. I let Jimmy out of his house. He's a happy villager again with the exact same skin and everything, so that's cool. They actually saved their skin. And a whole bunch of other people broke in, but. You know what? He's back to ripping me off as usual. 38 Ryan Flesh for Emerald? Come on, man. Anyways, guys, see you later. This is the end of the episode. Bye.